In this video, we'll perform a data transformation in Spotfire. Although it is, in fact, best practice to transform any data you're using prior to loading it in Spotfire, or any analytics platform for that matter, there are times when it becomes necessary. And for that reason, Spotfire provides a number of intuitive and powerful transformations. So let's take a look. First, here's some data. We used this data in a previous demo. We took all the running back info and we did an unpivot transformation. And then we repivoted that data. And what we have here is the results. And unfortunately, what we see here, we've got fumble percent as a decimal. Well, we want that to be a true percentage. So we'll change that. Also, rushing attempts. That's a real value. We want that to be an integer. There's not a part of a rushing attempt. There's only an integer. It was either a rushing attempt or not. So there are no part of rushing attempts. So we'll make that an integer. Rushing average is fine. We'll leave that as is. But we may want to change that to be one decimal. And rushing yards. That again is an integer value. So let's go and do these transformations. So let's go up to the toolbar and we'll click on add data tables. We'll click on add and scroll down and we'll select the repivot info and we'll call this transformation. And here are the transformations that we can perform. So we can calculate and replace a column calculate a new column, change column names, change data types, data functions, exclude columns, normalization, and pivot and unpivot you've probably already seen. So let's go ahead first. What we're going to do is calculate and replace column. And we'll click on add here. And what we'll do is we'll select fumble percent. And what we're going to do here is we're going to click on formatting. We're going to make that a percentage, and we only need one decimal place, and that looks good. Let's click OK. Now we'll also go and we'll change data types. So we'll click Add. Now rushing attempts, again, that should be an integer value, and you'll see that change below as we change these. And rushing yards, again, that's an integer value. So we'll click that and change it to an integer value. And let's click OK. Now we can also exclude columns. So let's go and exclude some columns. So we'll click on exclude columns. We'll click add here. And we want to exclude the original fumble percent. We want to exclude the season type because it's all the regular season. And so now that's good. We should be good to go. Let's click OK. And we'll move the percentage over here to the right hand side. Okay, so there we go. We've got our rushing attempts as an integer. We've got our rushing yards as an integer. We've got our fumble percent expressed as a true percentage. And we can also change that value or change the name that is right here. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. We'll change the name. We'll take those square brackets out. We don't need those anymore. And for rushing yards and for rushing average, Okay, so for a rushing average, all we can do is we can change that format to use one decimal. We'll click OK. Okay, and now you can see here's our rushing average with one decimal. We've got fumble percent expressed as a true percent, and these two are integers now. Okay, so in this video, we performed a data transformation in Spotfire. 